हेलो टेकिस वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल कैनोपास माई सेल्फ हार्दिक परमार आई एम एन एंड्रॉयड डेवलपर एट कैनोपास सॉफ्टवेयर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट मल्टीपल ट्रेकेबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन साइड एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो यूजिंग चैटपैक कंपोज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट सो एट द एंड ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल वी विल हैव आउटपुट समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट वी कैन सी ऑन अवर एमिलेटर स्क्रीन वी विल हैव फाइव ट्रेकेबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स and uh, objects are in circular format and we have letters like a b c d e and with different colors and all the draggable objects we can drag it into any directions like x and y so we are going to have practical on this so for that let's start by creating new android studio project so let's take new project let's take empty compose activity and providing name like multiple draggable objects so let's wait until our sync finishes okay so we have new project as you can see then let's first see the output of our project let's run it on emulator it should be something like hello android okay so it is as expected let's remove this unused code we are not wanting it anymore and let's add one scaffold said that let's take one top bar then after we will have top app bar and inside that we will have title and let's we will have toolbar text as multiple draggable objects and inside text we will have toolbar text font size as we can see 28 then we will have font weight that is normal and then we will have content color color dot white let's take one column inside that let's take one modifier and we will have modify dot fill max size then let's take vertical arrangement arrangement dot center and horizontal alignment alignment dot center horizontally now inside this we will have our draggable object so first let's create composable function for that and inside that we will have draggable object so let's provide name something like function multiple multiple draggable objects let's have object and inside that we will have two parameters letter as string and background color as color so let's create one object in circular format so let's take one box inside that we will have modifier dot fill max modifier dot will have size not fill max will have size and let's provide size it is 80 dot dp let's import this and then we are we are going to take another parameters like modifier dot clip and uh, okay clip and in circle shape then we will have let's say background that is our bg color that we are going to pass as a argument so and we will have content alignment alignment dot center as you want our content on center of the object and let's take one composite text and then we will have text as a letter and then we are going to add other parameters like font size that is 30 dot sp then we will have color as color dot white and uh, okay we have created our object so this background color will be for our object and this is our this one white is for our text inside the object and let's take font weight 
that is font weight dot bold okay so let's format our code and let's run it so let's terminate it and let's see okay our object is not available oops we just want to forget to call our composable so let's call it from multiple table object provide letter as a and background color as color dot let's say green so let's run it again let's terminate it okay this time we will have our object in circular format and inside that we will have text as character a which is having which is having white color so let's create copy and paste the same code for multiple regular object and let's provide names like b c d and e and let's take colors like color dot blue color dot yellow color dot let's say we are having cyan and color dot have red okay so let's run it again this time we are going to okay let's terminate it we are going to have five objects with different color and different characters okay so now we are going to make it draggable so to make it draggable first of all let's start coding for that and uh, for that we will have offset x so let's check variable well offset x equals to remember function so remember and mutable state of initialize it with zero let's import this then we will have offset y equals to remember mutable state of zero f so we are having two variables then after let's take modifier dot offset and uh, integer offset integer offset this will basically convert our offset value into integer one so x equals to offset x dot we will have okay we will have round okay offset x dot uh, value dot round to integer and same way we will convert parameter y into the integer one so y equals to offset y dot value dot round to integer round to integer so it will basically convert our offset value into the integer one then let's detect our drag amount so for that we'll have pointer input and in pass unit as a parameter and we'll have detect drag testers that will give us change and drag amount so before that let's consume all the changes so change dot consume all the changes and we'll have offset x dot value we'll have use short end operator so offset x dot value equals to offset x dot value plus drag amount dot x and offset y dot value equals to offset y dot value plus drag amount dot y so ultimately it will going to detect the drag amount on x and y direction then after it convert it into the integer one and we will have our objects which can be draggable on x and y directions so it's all about this practical so let's start let's see the output so let's run it run it okay so you can see we are having five objects and we can drag it on x and y direction so it is all about this practical so hope you learned something new if you think video was helpful then please share it with your friends if you have any questions and suggestion please mention it in the section below also you can reach out to us on our twitter handle which is mentioned below in the description box don't forget to subscribe for future updates please like this video and share it to your friends thank you for watching this video